warmed up there uh, for a few weeks actually it's been pretty warm out here but uh, it got cold again this week some very frosty mornings It's a little bit, it's a little bit warmer in here. Who else does their chores, their farm chores, or feeding the chickens with uh, a cup of coffee? Who else does that? Anybody? I, I, I know you guys are out there. <laughs> These kale and collards, they're still growing. These babies are still, still moving along, which is awesome. I don't see no dead dead greens at all so that's pretty great i'm pretty happy about that and uh, i just wanted to say with it being march now we just ordered a pallet of feed for our meat chickens that we're supposed to be getting we belong to the madison county feed co-op i actually did a video on it i will put a link to that video down below in the show notes uh, if you are in the Asheville area and you want to belong to an awesome community of homesteaders, farmers, um, people just wanting better quality of feed, you might want to look into the Madison County Feed Co-op. That's a feed co-op that we belong to and I just ordered a pallet of feed. <laughs> um, so that is what I call the uh, official start to spring is when I order a pallet of feed for meat chickens. <laughs> but just to let you know that now's the time to think about ordering chickens if that's what you want to do this year. We're going to shoot for uh, the beginning of May is when we're going to get uh, 60 meat birds. Typically we would do it sooner, like say April, but we're supposed to be going to Missouri at an event at the um, Baker Creek Seed event. And uh, you know what, I'll leave a link down in the show notes of that event also. If you're in the Missouri area, we will be there and it would be awesome to meet some of you guys. All right, <laughs> it's been crazy cold here lately. At least this week anyways. And we need more firewood for our wood stove. Now the wood that we have here is a little bit too long for our wood stove. So I need to cut it down to smaller sizes so it can fit in our wood stove. And this is the part I'm not too crazy about with our wood stove is that it is on the small side and so we have to cut it down even further after we get it dropped off like this. seems the quickest way that I can 
chop this in half is my circular saw, <laughs> my chop saw. Um, so I usually set it up outside uh, because it, it could get pretty messy with all the wood flying around. Uh, I'd rather have it messy out here than in the shop. If they're too fat, uh, I have to chop them with my trusty handy dandy axe. Old school. <laughs> you think we need more firewood than this? What do you think? I think that's good enough. That might last us, uh, I don't know, a few days? Maybe? <laughs> what are you gonna do? I'm gonna check out my mud kitchen. This is your oven up here? Yeah. And the frosting. See? One scoop each. And I always collect some uh, herbs. In a bucket. It's basically just like little tiny, teeny, tiny little flowers. Like this. I put them in my things. Okay. Alright, I gotta finish the wood. <laughs> Penelope loves her mud kitchen. She's gonna have her own bakery one day. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> And then I just wheel up the wheelbarrow up here and start putting stuff inside the house. What are you making in here? <laughs> I don't know why you laugh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, this is ground lamb. So we are gonna have ground lamb with some bell peppers and some sweet bell peppers and sweet potatoes. Kind of just thrown on, on a heap on top of each other. <laughs> All right, that sounds wonderful. And I am about to bring in this wood. You're helping Penelope? Mm-hmm. Can you put them over here? Thank you, Penelope, for helping. So I've been working on a new chicken tractor. I'm almost done with it. <laughs> um, I have these chicken wire, and I had these left over from when I did those other chicken tractors that I have. So I need to see if I have enough. I don't think I have enough for this whole thing. Um, so I might have to buy some more, but I plan on doing a proper uh, video on this chicken tractor. Um, it's very similar to the other ones that I have, which is the stress feet, the stress free chicken tractor. Uh, by John Siskovich. Um, those are his plans. Those, that's the chicken tractor that we like to use. And this one is a smaller version of that. And it's going to be uh, for our egg layers. So I will be doing a video on this. So hopefully I can get done with this very soon. All right, real quick, everyone, we have new Sow the Land t-shirts. <laughs> we have men's, women's, children's. <laughs> Our first Sow the Land t-shirt. So it says, grow food, build stuff, Re repeat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think it's uh, that's been kind of our motto, I think, the past few years, you know, because we do a lot of building stuff and we do a lot of growing food. So we have these available on the Bonfire website. I will leave a link down in the show notes to buy these t-shirts. They're available, what's the date? I believe it's March 11th is the last day. Yeah, March 11th. Uh, they're only limited quantity, only limited time, and then after that, we won't have these available. So if you wanna show your support, 
Uh, I'll leave a link down in the show notes where you could buy these t-shirts. But I appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you guys next time.